This is Tay from Astros Oil Repairs. Can you dig it? Team, you take from here. All right, Tay, I got it. All right, we got us a Ford Ranger. Let me let me see what year this is. All right, we got a 2005 Ford Ranger. Uh, we're gonna show you how to do front brakes on it. Uh, Tay's cleaning up the back brakes, taking off all the brake dust, cause that can cause the squeal also. Um, first thing you do, take off the cap to the master cylinder. I got one of the wheels jacked up already. And um, I'm gonna grab you. We're gonna check it out. But before we, but before we get into this, um, now rotors, a lot of shops like cutting rotors and telling you need rotors. Listen, if you step on the brakes and you don't feel a pulsation, don't have to change your rotors. Leave them alone unless they're really thin, all right? Don't let them keep cutting your rotors because eventually you are going to need rotors if you keep cutting them, all right? So if it's not shaking when you step on the brakes, leave it alone. All right, let's get this done. Okay, here we go on the side of the brakes. Uh, what you want to make sure you do, get you a nice C-clamp. And you're going to need a ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket. Make sure you have that uh, cap to the master cylinder off. And I, right now I'm on the driver's side and I got the wheel turned all the way to the right. All right. This is a dual piston system right here. The caliper has two pistons. So what we're going to do is just take off this bottom bolt. Make sure you got a good, yeah. Take off the bottom bolt. Make sure you got some, just like I said, make sure you got some cardboard underneath for any dirt, anything. Take the caliper. Swing it up just enough, just like that. You want to take one of the old brake pads. Try to get it out of there. Might have to use a screwdriver or something. All right, yeah. Let me get a. Let me take off. Take out the back one. All right. You want to take this pad and you want to put it against the pistons, just like that. That's so you don't, when we're using the, the C-clamp, we don't mess up the pistons. Then you want to get the C-clamp down in there like this. Try to get as closer to the center as possible. Then once you got it like that, we're going to go ahead and tighten that C-clamp up. Again, make sure that cap to the master is off. What you're gonna do is push those, as you can see, push those pistons back. Now you can see because of the angle I'm at, I'm doing one. But as I tighten it up and I get to a certain get to a stop, the other one's gonna start going in. Then when it comes to a stop, you can see that. See that going going right in there. And just to be on the safe side, what I'm gonna do is just Loosen this up and go on this top piston. Make sure that I am pushed all the way back. Now your pistons are set. Remove your C clamp. Pistons are in. See, you see this brake pad. See, that thing was grinding right there. <laughs> They're very close on that. Now we're gonna get the new brake pads. Now, oh yeah, now see these sliders right here? These sliders are very important. Make sure they do move in and out like that. Cause that caliper definitely got a slide. All right, let's get our new brake pads and we'll be right back. All right, let's get these brakes on here. We got the new brakes. Make sure your brake pads have the anti-shimmer in the back cause that'll stop the squealing. It's very important. All right, let's get these brakes into the slots. Yeah, they're gonna give me a hard time. No way gonna give me a hard time. Yeah, they might give you a little hard time in there, but it'll be okay. You get them. You know what? Let's try this side first. Let's see what I'm looking at here. Okay, let's get 
the other one in. Okay, both brakes are in. Bring the caliper down. Put that bottom bolt in. Tighten it up. Tay over there messing around with the airline. I don't know what he's doing. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the cap to the master cylinder back on, pump the brakes up to get that piston coming out there so it can bring the fluid level down a little bit, and um, turn the tire to the other side, and we'll start taking off the other side. So let's go over there and get that set up uh, while Tay put the tire on over here. We'll be right back. Okay, here we are on the right side. Let's get that bottom bolt out of there. Flip the caliper up, just like that. Get our old brake pad, we'll put it in there. Squeeze that back. Okay, just like the other side, let's squeeze those pistons back slowly until they bottom out. Okay, got the pistons pushed back. Let's pop out our brake pads. New ones in. Okay, once they're in, just like that. Let's bring our caliper back down. Tighten up the one bolt in the bottom. Now Tay gonna put the. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get all the stuff out of Tay's way. And Tay gonna put the tie on. Okay, let's just watch here. Sit here. Let's watch Tay. Put this tie on the car. All right, and you. I want you to watch how Tay put the tie on. And also, watch how he tightens up the lugs. He, he go catacomb. Well, that was good. He, he threw that tire on. Right, you, want, you want to say anything to the people while you're doing that, Tay? Uh, <laughs> Alright, you just go ahead, then. You got, you got to admit, the other, other, other bugs bother him. You good, you good, that's good. 
Tay make you be proud of him. Okay, Tay, put that thing on. Man, Tay always have a problem with putting this on because he's a little weak. <laughs> oh, uh oh, he wasn't he wasn't messing around this time. <laughs> Alright, hold it. Move the cardboard out the way and then let that let it down. And uh Tay gonna tighten up the other side. We're right back. Right here we are on the driver's side. Tay get ready to both tie up. How old do you tell how you how old do you take? Thirteen. See, Thirteen years old. We'll be working on the car. That's right. Oh, the other way, yeah. Yeah, man. Don't tell I mean, me. I ain't telling. Go ahead, man. I'm messing around. That's how you do front brakes on a 2005 Ford Ranger. Very easy. Uh, this is Timmy and Tay from Astral Auto Repairs. And if we can't repair it, nobody can. Yeah. <laughs>